Hi, hi, YouTube. It's Christina Marie here, and I am here with uh, just the video. Um, the Olympics are over. They're done. And they won't be back for another four years. Well, the Summer Olympics. The Winter Olympics, yeah, two years, but it's just not the same. <laughs> Well, now that I've gotten that out of the way, I just wanted to come on here and just share with you guys what my favorite uh, part of the Olympics were. Um, the U.S. women. Oh my gosh. They dominated uh, swimming, both women and men. Amazing. Um, there were just so many high points, like even wrestling. I watched wrestling, you guys. Um, even the trampoline thing, and I made a lot of fun of that. So trampoline Olympians, I am sorry. You guys were freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. The dude with the bionic legs from South Africa, I think. I, I my hat is off to you, dude. I mean, you were amazing. Just so many things. Gabby Douglas, my girl. Uh, Ali Reisman. And even, I, I I have to give out, I give a shout out to my girl, Michaela <laughs> Maroney. Was it Maroney? Maloney. Um, she has an honest face. She definitely, definitely has an honest face. And I'm not mad at her for looking pissed off when she got that silver medal. I mean, that just shows that silver, she's not settling for second best. She knows she deserved that gold, but she messed up. Uh, maybe she can come back in the next four years and reclaim it. I just really just want to express just how much I love seeing the world come together and just compete and celebrate together. And, you know, just I love seeing all the cultural representation. Um, the closing ceremony was by far um, something of great entertainment. In my opinion, I was very entertained. Um, still doesn't top Beijing for me, but I had a blast watching it. Oh my goodness. Um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, then you know how excited I got, um, over that closing ceremony. I tweeted about it all night. Um, if you do not follow me on Twitter, I am going to link my Twitter information down below. Go and look at my tweets because I just fangirled out the entire night um from anywhere from George Michael who I love Annie Lennox who I just ooh, I, I, I love that lady um Spice Girls Spice Girls you guys that's all I need to say and Scary Spice girl you were channeling your J-Lo and Beyonce last night honey props to you hats off to you um they all looked fantastic though um but definitely the highlights for me, you guys may or may not know, but I went to UCLA. <laughs> 2009, what, what? But, um, we had such a presence there. UCLA had such a presence there. I saw people that I went to school with, um, people that I graduated before, people that graduated before me. I just saw so much there and we had our fair share of medals and I was just like, UCLA is in the house. Um, so that was a highlight for me, um, seeing Gabby Douglas win um, her all around. That was a highlight for me. U.S. women's track and field, the relays, the four by one and the four by two, no, four by one and the four by four. Fantastic. Allison Felix winning her 400. Tom Daly, I know he's British or is he British? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, even him winning his bronze and the diving, that I was 
ecstatic for him because people gave him such crap about the synchronized diving thing and bullied him and just I don't understand but I am so proud of that boy and he's not even you know my compatriot if that's the word but I was so proud of him for getting that bronze but I was super excited about uh Badaya. Badaya shocked me he's American getting that gold I was so proud of that guy like I didn't even see it coming because he barely squeezed into 18 but um into slot 18 during like the semifinals or the qualifying rounds or something but he turned it on and then he took it from there it was fantastic absolutely phenomenal to watch um Michael Phelps I, I don't know why I just saluted you you're not military but Michael Phelps you're an inspiration he is such an inspiration like I <laughs> who wins that many medals that many gold medals I don't even know what is it 19 gold medals and like two silver or something or eight, I don't know 20 gold medals and two silver whatever but oh my goodness I, I mean that is what the Olympics is about you know it's about doing your best and trying to come home with a medal preferably the gold medal but it's about representing your country it's about going out there and showing the spirit the determination the ethics the hard work of your country now there were some questionable things that you know will sway your opinion on what i just said but I'm not even speaking for Americans. I'm speaking for all countries. Um, it was just amazing to watch people with these beautiful background stories when they did the little flashbacks and stuff like that, just telling about their history. I loved learning about these people, whether they were, whether they were from Ethiopia or South America or Great Britain. Um, it was phenomenal to me and it was a little bittersweet to see it go to see it end last night but I am excited for Rio in 2016 um, me and one of my best friends Diaris we are setting the goal to actually go to the Olympics in 2016 I personally think at one point in your lifetime you need to go to the Olympics if you can't go that I am hoping for you, willing it to happen, that at least sometime during your lifetime, the Olympics are being hosted somewhere near you in the next however many years. I don't know how long in advance they plan out the um, hosting sites. I can't remember, but I really really do encourage anyone to go to the Olympics and experience this. It's not about sports. It's not just about winning. It's about just coming together as a human race and just having community. Yeah, competing, you know, what's through sports and all of that. But I enjoyed seeing just people come together and just smile and hug each other and have all this community. Um, now, you guys may not know, uh, men's basketball US they did win gold I know you know that part but um I am a Laker fan die hard through and through Kobe Bryant love you babe um not a, I was not a LeBron James fan but I gained so much respect for that guy after watching him uh compete for our country these past Olympics I cannot go back to having the same perspective of him prior to the Olympics I just can't I will never be rooting for him ever because I he's not on my team but um I have mad respect for him now I can officially say that um it was an overall really really great experience highlights definitely you know I have mad respect for Usain Bolt that dude I have I have mixed emotions about this dude because he is so good but I don't want him to be because he beats us but I can't help it you know he I love to see people 
when. It's when you get the cockiness. Now don't get me wrong, Usain Bolt is cocky as I don't know what, but I'm happy for him. If he can come back in 2016 and do it again, power to him. I hope he doesn't do it again, but more power to him, definitely. It was a fantastic two weeks. I had a blast um, just, you know, sharing everything with my friends and, you know, with you guys on Twitter and on Facebook. Um, like I said, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, um, information down below and, uh, just leave comments down below, well, down below and let me know what you guys thought of the Olympics. What were your favorite moments? What were your least favorite moments? Um, let's just come together, you know, as a community and just keep the hype, you know, going for the next few days or so, because we won't have this again until four years from now. Not dog in the Winter Olympics. I promise you I'm not, but I don't even recall this much enthusiasm when the Winter Olympics roll around. I love skiing and I love ice skating, but the Summer Olympics to me represents the world at its finest, I think. So with that being said, I'm signing off now and I will see you guys soon. Bye.